Welcome to the Auto Chartist training session. We're going to be discussing the chart patterns that Auto Chartist scans for specifically in today's talk. So this is a very important talk because when we are talking about the chart patterns that Auto Chartist scans for, I think part of what needs to be remembered is that in terms of the market direction. I'm going to talk about initial trend while we're talking about these these patterns because what I want you to do is start to combine the initial trend reading with the pattern selection. Remember, Auto Chartist will present a number of patterns to you, but the trick is to make sure that when you are looking at these patterns, when you are scanning for the different opportunities in the market, you're doing so with a very specific idea in mind that you are looking for the combination of pattern and market direction to overlap in a way that the pattern is able to give you the appropriate strategy for the mood of the market. Let me put it to you this way. How helpful really is a triangle in a trending market? Most of us learn early on that triangles are congestion to consolidation patterns which means that prices are moving either in a wide volatile range and that's usually what happens at the very beginning of the triangles development and as the market moves forward as we move to the right with new price action a triangle naturally puts the squeeze on the range until that wider what's known as a distribution market cycle the wider market behavior the volatile range begins to narrow down into what's known as a accumulation. In accumulation we have a na narrower range, less volatility, and prices are ideally suited to follow through at that point past the support and resistance or resistance, support or resistance of the pattern. In other words, volatility drops and the likelihood for follow through once the market has found a narrow sideways range increases because initially in a wide volatile range, there's a lack of organization. In distribution, there is a lack of organization. Distribution, by the way, is identified by the initial trend, by the auto chartist initial trend, with a four or five bar reading. Accumulation is typically one to three bars. Now, once the market becomes more organized, when there is a break higher through resistance or a break lower through support there is a greater chance of follow through another indicator that can help you another auto chartist indicator that can help you identify the momentum with which a pattern is broken is the breakout indicator so while the initial trend indicator will be available on both emerging and completed patterns the breakout is a reading that is unique to completed patterns. Once prices have broken the pattern, hence become a completed pattern, Auto Chartist will then measure the momentum, the bullish or bearish momentum with which the pattern was broken and yield an indicator that has a scale of 1 to 10. A 6 bar or greater breakout reading typically signals that there is sufficient momentum behind the move. And when you are looking for momentum entries outside of these congestion to consolidation patterns, like a triangle, whether that be an ascending triangle, a descending triangle, or a regular triangle, a more symmetrical triangle, the key really is that sentiment shift. And that's what the momentum is looking to capitalize, and that's what the breakout measures, the auto chartist breakout reading. So it's not uncommon to see that a triangle pattern early in its development, as it's still emerging, as it's still forming, might be in a four or five, maybe even a six bar initial trend reading. But as price action quiets down and the volatility drops, you will see, so too does the initial trend reading, ideally to a one to three bar reading, which indicates a lack of trend, a sideways market movement, which is both narrow and carries less volatility. Let's contrast that with trending patterns. Commonly, trending patterns will be the channel up, channel down, falling and rising wedge. And all four of these pattern types are ideally traded in a trend, which means that there are three potential 
entry strategies. Again, we're talking about channel up, channel down, rising and falling wedge. Now, when we're talking about these pattern types, okay, contrasting the contrasting the sideways patterns to the trending patterns here, we got to remember that there is a different market environment that these pattern types look to capitalize on. The market direction should be an up or down trend when you're looking at a channel up or channel down. Obviously an uptrend for channel ups and rising wedges, a downtrend for channel down and falling wedges. How do you identify a trend using the auto chartist initial trend reading? That is done by looking for a reading of six bars or greater. This, the weakest trend that auto chartists will signal will be a six bar initial trend. So if one to three bars is accumulation, four and five bars is distribution, six bars or greater is a trend. The direction of the trend, which you will, in, which will, which, which will identify with the either lower highs of a downtrend or the higher lows of an uptrend. Okay, so the direction's up to you, but auto chartists will assume that you're looking at either the lower highs or the higher lows and the pattern alert itself. And at that point, you can identify the strength of the trend with the initial trend reading. Six bars are greater, six being the weakest, ten being the greatest, the strongest. Depending upon the strength of the trend, we can then begin to determine whether or not the trend will continue whether or not the trend will reverse, or whether it will correct. So there are three types of auto chartist entry approaches to a trending market. The continuation, which is either breaking through the resistance of an uptrending pattern or down through the support of a downtrending pattern. We have the retracement correction, which is pulling back within the pattern, so pulling back in an uptrend or bouncing within the pattern in a downtrend we have the reversal. Corrections and reversals are more likely with a six or seven bar reading on the initial trend, indicating that the trend is valid but not strong. Continuations are more likely when the reading is eight, nine, or ten bars. Again, the stronger the trend, the more likely there is going to be a continuation, and the less likely there is going to be a significant correction lower. So keep in mind that the strength of the trend will often indicate which one of the trending strategies you might employ. Again, continuation, retracement or correction, or reversal. Keeping in mind that the initial trend is going to be most often one of your best tools to not only filter the patterns, but also one of your best tools to go ahead and recognize the potential strategy that you'll use I hope you understand why it's so important to incorporate that initial trend into the filtering process of your pattern selection. There are a couple unique patterns that can fall into either a trending or non-trending environment. Those are your flags and your head and shoulders. Head and shoulders and flags can actually occur in a trending or non-trending environment. This is Rocky Horner and welcome to the September 1st Triple tops, triple bottoms, pennants, double tops, double bottoms. These are all ideally traded in either a one to three bar accumulation market where we're expecting momentum higher or lower through the pattern. If we end up with a wide rectangle or a wide pennant or a wide range in a triple, triple top, bottom, double top or bottom, Look for distribution fade. Look for markets to exhaust at the floors and ceilings. Again, all these entry strategies can be determined by the underlying market direction combined with the support and resistance of the pattern. So thank you for joining me here. Hopefully they'll be able to use the market direction along with the auto chartist and the different pattern alerts to better choose the entry strategy that is right for the current market mood.